Well, I had the privilege of wearing the duck uniform for one more time, and um, you know, I, I, all spring it was fun wearing my uniforms, but to be able to put on the O and like really feel like as a part of that team, like in uniform, was a privilege, and it was so much fun because it's what I. I don't think I realized like what it means to wear the O and to feel like a part of that team until I was sort of on the, you know, duck, on the outer ducks, outer pond of it all. And so to put it on again and to travel with Coach and my teammates, Ann and Becca, who I've lived with all year, we're all here, um, is like, God, I can't ask for anything more than that. So, yeah. What's the goal here for you? Um, my goal was to um, make my team proud and to make the final. Um, so I made the final, and that's like it's one step further than I made it last year. So uh, that rules, and you know, it was fun. Like I smiled during the race, I think, or at least on the inside. And um, you know, <laughs> just like doing the pre-race with Ann and Becca yesterday, we were just running and we were like, man, like we're lucky. So it's a privilege to wear the uniform, to be at this race, and to um, represent my school one last time. Yesterday, they made the announcement about Jordan going to the Oregon Project, so you're that close to a friend with her. I mean, what was your reaction and uh, your excitement for her? Um, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy for her. I hope, I hope everything um, is like going well, and um, obviously I'm with um, my team here now still, and um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, she's still my girl, and uh, we'll see what happens with me and everything. But um, she'll always be, we'll always be close, and uh, hopefully I'll see her before the race tonight. And um, we run some laps for each other during our races, so I think she took laps at five or something for me today, and we'll see if she needs me tonight. All right, and to talk about today's race, I guess was there any part where you thought this is a lot tougher? I mean, or, I mean, the weather conditions being a little bit warm. You know, it's hot for everyone, and um, so that's can't can't blame the weather. And um, it's I think the toughest thing is knowing that no matter it's it's going to get hot. Like these races, no matter how slow or how hot or how cold, it's going to be hard. So just expecting that. But taking the pain with you like a crying baby and being like, we're going, we're, we're going to keep going. <laughs> and we get the water pit, so, you know. Anyway. Was, was it weird having to sit out, um, you know, the collegiate outdoor season this year? And do you think that's an advantage or disadvantage going into this meet? It certainly um, was, it was a hard spring for me. Um, it was good and I learned a lot about being, um, you know, trying to be there for a team but also trying to figure out what's next for me. It's weird. It's it's um, It was a privilege to still be at Oregon and do what I could for the team. But, like, there's only so much you can do when you can't wear the uniform. And there's only, you know, it's like mm -hmm. this sort of middle ground. And so I did everything I could to be there in spirit for the team and mentally. but. Also trying to look ahead and um, figure out what's next and what's best for me. So it was hard, and I learned. I think I learned the hard way. Whatever I got out of the spring. All right. So. All right. Well, good luck in the final. Thank you.